Thus, Moss emerged victorious, and the only one remaining was Hinata. Grandal casually entrusted the sword, named Truth, to her. Master, this is. You can have it. It no longer serves any purpose for me. With those words, Grandal bestowed Truth upon Hinata. Masayuki's awakened ultimate skill, King of Heroes, granted him the ability to summon past champions as entities. His anger triggered the hero's beacon, calling forth Rudra, the oldest and mightiest champion. Rudra now possessed Velgren's powers and granted temporary bodies to the summoned champions. With Velgren's assistance, Grandel's new mythical grade longsword was created. You used my power again, didn't you? Is that a problem? No, not at all. Everything I have is yours, Rudra. Though their interaction displayed a loving couple dynamic, the extent of their actions was utterly absurd. Masayuki's King of Heroes was an insanely powerful ability that disrupted the ultimate balance. Be grateful. This divine sword was bestowed upon me by my master, Rudra Nasca. It's incomparable to ordinary blades. Since you'll be inheriting it, you must prove your worthiness. My worthiness, you say? Yes, I will determine if you're worthy of wielding a sword passed down by a hero. Well then, rest assured. Even against my master, I won't lose. You speak boldly, but you're not yet at the level of these old bones. Remember this well. It's the strength of our emotions that defines us, not mere victories. It's the quality of the outcome that truly matters. Yes, I understand. Inada embraced Granbell's beliefs just as she had entrusted her hope to Chloe before. Her mind became clear, effortlessly grasping the situation. Acknowledged by truth as its master, she gained significant power. Granbell's words washed away her doubts, empowering her to face the impending challenge. Granbell had remarked, It's a pity you haven't become a hero yet. Ironically, it was a declaration that Hinata had the potential to become a hero. In that case, I must live up to his expectations. The strictest master had acknowledged Hinata and her spirit soared. I'll finish you in an instant, she declared, bidding a final farewell to the evil dragon spawn. True slash, she exclaimed, swiftly slashing the evil dragon spawn without giving it a chance to react. Countless slash marks appeared all over the creature's body, and in that moment, their gazes met. The evil dragon spawn attempted to speak but disintegrated before finishing its words. Though Reiner's remnants of consciousness sought help from Hinata, it was too late to save him. His own actions have led to this inevitable outcome. Have a peaceful rest. Sweet dreams, Hinata offered a few words of comfort, though she harbored no fondness for Reiner and couldn't forgive his deeds. Nevertheless, she hoped for his peace and death. With the defeat of the evil dragon spawns, Hinata's victory was confirmed, and they were all eradicated. You did well. No, it was because my master lent me his sword. It is yours now. I am already gone. The me here is merely a replica, a perfect recreation crafted from memories. That's, it didn't appear so, but Hinata knew it to be true. The boy who inherited my master's soul has wielded an extraordinary power. Granbull smiled as Hinata acknowledged the revelation of this terrifying ability to summon past champions in their prime. Hinata, carrying the hero's egg passed down from Chloe, knew she wouldn't awaken as a hero, which left her unsure of her own worthiness. Despite this uncertainty, she confidently displayed her strong will to Granbell, unafraid of any disappointment. In response, Granbell chuckled at her determination. Do you truly believe so? Huh? It was my master Rudra's intention to call me forth, but I suppose it was unavoidable. From the promised land, I also remembered that I couldn't entrust you with my will. Maria was quite angry with me. What? This power is. This is where my role ends. Hinata, I leave the rest to you. Rest assured, master. I will do my best. Good, then. Grandel said with a small smile, then turned his back on Hinata, as if his part in the story was complete. Demrata stood alongside Granbell as he walked toward Masayuki. Gran, have you resolved your regrets? Yes, you seem to have voiced your complaints to Rudra as well. Ha, he never listens to me, as always. That's just like him. Yeah, definitely. Hey, hey, you two aren't going to talk trash right in front of me, are you? You better prepare yourselves. We were actually complimenting you. Yes, that's right. We can't do anything without you. Tusk, you make me sick. Well, fine then. It's my turn now, so rest up until I call you back. Rudra laughed. Granbell and Demrata laughed along and then disappeared. Satisfied that their part in the story was over, they entrusted the rest to Rudra without hesitation. Rudra, are you all right? Rudra smiled at Velgren's concern, hugged her around the waist, and even gave her a light kiss. I don't think this is the time. Fufu, I'll be gone once this is over. I just got my reward first. Velgren gazed at Rudra in ecstasy, admiring both Masayuki's innocence and Rudra's exceptional nature. She had always believed that Masayuki would eventually become Rudra, and now her dream had come true. Despite the apparent contradiction, 
Her true feelings were that she could love any Rudra, but the original was the best. Masayuki, who recreated Rudra, had become a supreme being in Velgren's eyes, and the word love no longer sufficed to express her feelings. I love Masayuki. All of you, Rudra. I know. So those words shouldn't be said to me, but to Masayuki himself. But, that kid, he's a bit shy. I'm sure he's happy on the inside. I said it, so I'm sure of it. Indeed, those words held truth. The current Rudra was not an illusion. He was Masayuki himself with Rudra's memories. Rudra then turned to Feldway, trying to hide his embarrassment. Now then, sorry to keep you waiting, Feldway. Apparently, you're the real deal. Do you intend to defy the laws of this world and claim you've transcended death? No, I'm still dead, and there's no coming back to life. However, if someone makes the woman I love cry, I can strike them from the other side. Don't be absurd. I'm serious, though. Well, I haven't gone to the other side just yet. Now then, muttering to himself, Rudra glanced at Vega. Then, turning to Testarossa and Hinata, he gave them an order with an expectant look. Hey, you guys, I'll leave that small fry to you. Let us go together, Hinata Dono. You're right, Testarossa-san. With you as my partner, I can rest assured. Fufufu, it's the same for me. And so, an impromptu duo was formed to take on Vega. Vega versus Testarossa and Hinata. Und, Feldway versus Rudra. The final battle in the royal capital had begun.